going to the number one, number two tool for uh, Professor Rai, uh, is it possible that um, the respondents can't tell between the two? Uh, yeah, that, that there was always that possibility. That's why when we when we uh, when we uh, did design the survey, it wasn't alphabetical, eh? so yeah. so as not to create that kind of uh, uh, problem, no. Uh, but yeah, uh, you know, he he's been uh, well with the case in the case of the mm -hmm. two tools, they've been doing very well in our surveys for the last two quarters, and uh, Ben Tulfo only started. Uh, we only started measuring his numbers last quarter, and uh, it's it's the trending is you know, it's going up. Uh, he just didn't just eat into Irwin's uh, numbers, but uh, mm -hmm. you know, uh, others also went down. You know, uh, and so that's why, which explains why um, he's moved uh, from I think top five to number two. You know? so yeah, the, the, yeah, some of the people in the top twelve also lost some. Uh, you know, in this quarter also okay. um, declined a little bit. Yeah, uh, and, and I think the big decliners are Aimee Marcos and uh, uh, President Duterte. Yeah. Okay, going back one last time to the tool force. Uh, so um, is it correct to presume that if there's only one tool for running, that percentage voting for would be much higher for, for that one tool for running? Uh, yes, yes. Actually, that we have data to prove that in the fourth quarter of 2023, Erwin uh, Tulfo was in the mid-70s. Mid yeah, there was only one tool for running, and uh, or at least being surveyed. Uh, yeah, of course, now we have two Tulfos. Uh, they'll probably, uh, you know, you know, uh, inch into each other's votes, uh, split the vote in a sense, no? or the preference. Um, if there's there was an election today, um, you know, it, it would be an advantage if both Tulfos were in the same group. Uh, you know, uh, they would probably complement each other. But if they're on different sides, baka magka agawa ng boto, no? Kasi pagka in one group sila, probably magbibitbitan sila, in the words in Filipino, no? And, uh, or, you know, complement each other and the ticket in general. But we don't know what the configuration, whether they're going to run in... Uh, under yeah. the same, uh, under the administration, or with the op or, you know emerging op opposition, mm -hmm. and yet Professor Rai, no, there's I mean, nag-aagaw ng boto, and yet uh, it seems to be it's formidable enough for them to at least share the top two spots at the same time. I mean, uh, what does this tell us? I mean, is this by far, to your memory, the strongest family name you've seen yet in an election survey? You know, this is a pre-election survey, yeah. so Patek things will change. Yeah. Uh, and you know, we, you you don't. I'm, we're not the only survey company out there. Where there are other survey companies, and people can compare. No, um, um, it's too early to say uh, that you know this will sustain itself. Mm -hmm. This will be the trend, but they are quite formidable. No, uh, at least that uh, you know we've been tracking Irwin Tool for since last year. And he's a congressman, Erwin Tulfo, since last year. And, and, and there's a, obviously a brand that's emerging and, and quite, uh, you know, it, it's a preferred brand. You know, we, we, we talked about political preference of Filipinos being pro Duterte, pro Marcos, being part of the opposition. You know, a big chunk of our Kababayans are moving towards, uh, you know, being independent. Uh, not uh, you know not preferring mm -hmm. either the Marcoses or the Duterte, okay. so even the traditional opposition. So you know there's, there there is a space for a brand like the Tulfos, and it's really for them at this point uh, to sustain no uh, and and um, strengthen no and make clear what that brand stands for, and to sustain support for it. They're very strong no uh, as far as this uh, forthcoming elections are concerned. But these numbers could change no they mm -hmm. could decline. Right. Uh, they could even consolidate even further. But uh, I think the challenge here is uh, if they uh, can be in one group, no? Uh, or, or, you know, where they are going to be uh, running in. If they're going to run with the administration or with the opposition, we don't know this, no? Why, why, um, why would running in the same group uh, serve their election campaign more than running separately? I think uh, running together uh, and with the endorsement of their very popular brother uh, would would uh, help clarify for voters. Now it would be easier for voters. Um, but if they're on different sides, um, 
competing with one another, one another on different issues, it, it, this this might you know this might be to the detriment no, of their uh, broadening base of support. That's just my own point of view. Mm. Uh, but we don't know, kasi, if, we, if they're going to. Well, first of all, if, they're, if Ben is really going to run, or number two, if uh, you know they're going to be in the same group. Uh, we, we, I don't know that. Uh, but it would be the advan to the advantage of any group that uh, emerges to have both of them.